My website was hacked and it was accessed by uh, hackers from the Bluehost dashboard and they basically started redirecting that to like a betting website. So all my traffic going to the mmsexperience.com was basically redirect, being redirected to a, a, another website which was a hacked website, like a crypto betting website. And even when you were searching that on Google, what was happening is that they replaced that with a lot of uh, Chinese characters. So it was basically, it basically became a Chinese website. And in this video, I want to talk about how I was able to recover my website, the action that I took in the past that allowed me to recover my website. So when it happened, what did I do? The first thing, I did not panic, although I was hurt. Uh, I did not understand what, what was going on because it was the first time I experienced it, but I directly contacted Bluehost support. And what Bluehost did was uh, explaining to me that after running a scan on my website files, there are basically a huge amount of infected file in the the file manager where basically uh that's where all your physical files are stored that the huge infected number of files after the scan and that they cannot help me with that cleaning that and i have to do it myself and they also mentioned that like if i want a professional help that is going to be paid and it's only paid for one site right so if you have multiple sites you're screwed with bluehost and that's why I switched to SiteGround and I'm going to talk about that in another video. But they basically talked about a site lock security feature that uh, the professional will reach out to me to talk about it and it will be a paid feature. I knew I didn't want to pay for uh, for that because it, I had multiple sites and all of them were infected. So what did I do? I went again in the back end of my website in the file manager where all the files are stored. In the root directory, when they run the scan, they will leave that scan report in the root directory under a file name scan. And when you open that file, when I open that file, I saw about 2000 files infected under my folders that I had to clean myself if I wanted to ever recover my website. And it was just so painful to see that those files had one were ending with one thing dot ht access and if you don't know what the dot ht access file is it is a powerful website file that sort of controls the configuration of your website so if you if that is affected a lot of things on your website are going to be affected and what i realized is that under each of the file on, on the folder on my overall directory, they basically uh, put an infected .ht access file. So I had to clean under every directory and subdirectory, delete that .ht access file, which was going to be painful because there were about thousands of them in, in uh, So to solve the issue, what did I do? First, I went to download because the, the existing version of WordPress was basically infected. I went to download a fresh version of WordPress and I, I uploaded those files in my uh, directory, right? So I downloaded, I downloaded the latest version of WordPress, like the 5.9, and I basically uploaded that. So when you, when you download that version, you first want to extract it on your computer for the mmsexperience.com i used to use a plugin called updraft plus backup and restore to sort of create backups of my website and those backup were existing in the root folder uh under a under a folder that uh, called updraft so what i did is that i, I after installing the fresh deleting all the files and reinstalling a fresh version of WordPress under the MMS experience folder. Again, just to repeat, make sure that you've copied all those backup files in a separate folders or you've downloaded them on your computer or on your uh, USB drive. And then after installing the new version of WordPress by copying those files that I extracted into the file manager, of Bluehost or whatever manager you have, what I did is that I went to 
themmsexperience.com slash wp dash admin just to log in on my deck on my wordpress dashboard and it basically gave me a, a welcome version to sort of reinstall everything new about wordpress and that's what i did i set up the language i basically went back and reinstalled everything about WordPress and if you have difficulty with that just ask your host uh, support to sort of reinstall everything reinstall WordPress on that website knowing that you have the backups and so after you log in you log back in on your WordPress dashboard with the new fresh fresh version of Word, WordPress install the next thing that I want you to do is to go on plugin and click on add new and I should click on a uh, uh, search for updraft uh, plus WordPress backup plugin. And when you install and you activate that, you click on scan. So it's going to create an, a, a folder called updraft inside WP content folders in your file manager. So you will need to go back in, in your file manager, paste or re-upload those backup files inside that updraft plugin, um, inside that updraft folder. And after some time, when you go back to the updraft plus on your dashboard, WordPress dashboard, you will realize that if you click on scan, rescan local folder for new backup sets, it will detect the backup that you've re-uploaded and it's going to ask you to either restore everything from theme, post, database, uh, plugins alone and I restored basically the whole thing. thing. But this is June 2022 and that, that backup uh, was back in September 2021 so there are a lot of things that I lost but I think it was better than nothing because at least I had my website back uh, up and uh, functioning. My point in this video is please, please create backups of your website. This is very important. If you think this cannot happen to you, eventually at some point it will happen. But there are different ways that you can uh, uh, save your website by creating backup with updraft plus plugin or all in one WP migrations, uh, stuff like that. So all your sites are basically hacked. Right? Then just fixing and they're all on the Bluehost. Then just fixing one site will not fix the whole thing. What you will, what I did uh, later on is that because I realized that my website got reinfected again because they had access to some back door or something like that. I changed the 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 hosting that I have and I left Bluehost and I'm basically now on SiteGround and SiteGround the link is down below. I'm going to cover a SiteGround in another video but I think it's a great great hosting platform that has a lot of benefits uh, including really uh, great uptime, uh, really fast speed websites, increased security compared to Bluehost but I'm going to talk about that in another video. I hope that's helpful. If it is uh leave a like button if it is not if your website is hacked there's nothing you can do about it watch the second video to understand how you can restore your website if you don't have a backup